Hi everybody, it's Paul from AMPM Roofing. This old roof, personal time. It's um, Sunday, Easter, and as promised, I'm going to be making a smoothie with you today. Okay, so first thing we're going to have to do is we've got a list here. I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, you probably can, but you've got four lemons, six limes, four mangoes, one pint of blueberries, 12 ounces. One pint of black raspberries, 12 ounces, six kiwis, one pint strawberries, ginger, pineapple, one head of cabbage, spinach, kale, and one scoop of superfoods, which is right, uh, let's see, oh yeah, right, right over here. This I picked up at Walt Books. This I picked up at Walmart here. This is pretty good stuff. Hopefully they'll give me some kind of, um, Commission or something for advertising the product here, but which I don't care. Okay, and um, so you can see we got kiwi, limes, lemons, cabbage, raspberries, mango. Got some fruit fruit there, but we're not going to put that in there. We got some what is that? Oh, mangoes, raspberries, strawberries, pineapple, peanut butter. Gel no, I'm just kidding. That's um. Baby kale, blueberries, and sorry, that's backwards. I came unprepared today. This is arugula and spinach, and this is really good for you. This is pomegranate juice right here. Good stuff. Uh, so this is the the last batch. This is kind of what it looks like here. Probably looks like uh, something else, but this is really, really super good for you, um, and it tastes good too, surprisingly. So. Um, Okay, so this is the first step here. This is going to make four batches. Okay, four batches. And uh, I'll show you what a batch looks like and um, what our next step is going to be and, and how I do it. Tune, stay tuned, or tune in, or whatever, commercial break. Okay, we're back, and uh, I'm going to need the help of my camera girl. This is also my daughter. Say hi, Calista. This is my camera girl. Hi. 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 Here you go, camera girl. All right. So, um, so yeah. So what I'm doing here is we're getting all this fruit pre-cut. Yummy and limes. Ready to go. That's right. Getting yummy limes. And, uh, so for these limes here, I'm just gonna cut the cut the peels off. So you're gonna want to do four limes, uh, six kiwis. That's all in my on my list there. And. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, press. Okay, so we're back, and um, while uh, you guys weren't here, I cut all of these fruits right here. Um, I've got all these um, Lime. limes, kiwis. Thank you, Calista. Hello. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we've got limes, kiwis, limes, kiwis, mangoes. Uh, this is ginger right here. Strawberries. So what I do first is I peel everything that has to be peeled. And then I've got these one, two, three, four, four containers here. And what I'm going to do with this stuff here, I've got one, two, three mangoes. I was supposed to buy four mangoes, but it's some, somewhere along the line it disappeared. I don't know how that happened. I know that I picked them up, but they're just not here. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, Calista is going to hold the camera. And I'm going to take this group of mangoes here, because I can't hold the camera. Do this at the same time. So there's one mango. Two mango. This is the center here. This is the seed. I need that. There's three mango. I get a better angle. And what I'm going to have to do is take a little bit of mango out of each one of these containers and throw it in this fourth one here because I'm short one mango. Two, one. That's good. Peek-a-boo! Right oh, this is my little brother right here. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> Alright, that's good. Okay, show it. How you doing guys? Paul from AMPM Roofing. Uh, this old roof, personal time, making smoothies for you, with you. You can look in here, I've got all of the fruits in four different containers. These containers here I got from Walmart, these, I don't know, my wife had them in the cupboard, so. 
but these are the, these are kind of important here. These are kind of our measuring uh, measuring tools. So one of the tricks that I do here with the strawberries is I will cut the top of them off. I'll take them all out of the basket, cut the tops of them off, and then I'm going to put them back. Oh boy, I just dropped one. I'm going to put them back into the container here, like the so, like this. I'm going to gonna put it in the container here, and then I'm going to rinse them off over here. All right. And there's, uh, there's one on the floor there. We'll just throw that away. And uh, if you can look over here, we've got kiwi, lime, mango, uh, ginger. That was ginger there. I don't think I told you about that before. Same thing in here. Equal amounts. Uh, split up. Split up into four, um, four groups here. And uh, next we're gonna do. I've got most of my cutting done. So next is just a matter of throwing these raspberries. Um, uh, ra more raspberries, red raspberries, pineapples, and um, and then we'll do our blueberries, and then we've got uh, spinach. Uh, actually, you know what? They were out of spinach, but what I got is a mix of arugula and spinach, which is fine. And baby kale, and kabaj. This kabaj right here. Okay, so next we've got pineapple, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. So the reason why I had the strawberries on the cutting board, I cut the tops of them off, I put them back in the tray, and then I took them over to the sink and I rinsed them out. And if you're, in case you're wondering if I picked up that strawberry that was on the floor and rinsed it off and put it back in there, that's between me and my strawberries. Okay, so um, pineapple, we're going to split this up four and four. So we're just going to kind of, you know, grab a handful, put it in there. One, two... Three, four. I'm just gonna do that until until this is emptied here. One, two, three, and cuatro. For your Spanish-speaking people, two, uh, one, two, three. And the juice, we're just gonna pour this in here. And du trois for the French people in the audience here. All right, so raspberry time, same thing. And for you, and for you, and for you, and for you, and for two. For you, and for you, a bit there, and a bit there. Alright, don't worry, we're getting there. It'd be a lot quicker if I had two hands, but camera girl, it's bath time for camera girl, so she's uh, she's gonna hurry up and come back and maybe she'll be here to hold the camera while I do the mixing. And uh, it's be a lot easier. Okay, that takes care of the fruit. And next we're going to move on to the uh, cabbage, uh, spinach, arugula, and kale. Okay, tune in. Okay, so we're back. Uh, just a few more things we have to do before we get to mixing. This is our mixer here. It's the Nutra, uh, Nutra Bullet RX. Picked it up at Walmart. I don't remember, 149 bucks or something. This is the container that everything goes in. And um, this is the little blade here that screws into the top of this and then kind of mixes everything together there so 
All right, so I had already squeezed four lemons, no, actually five lemons, and put them in this container here, and uh, pre-cut the cabbage. And right now I'm just gonna put this um, in the super greens, the super super powder here in each batch, one one scoop per batch here. So I'm gonna pass this over to my camera girl, Callista. Hello, I just got out of my bath, so now I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna put one scoop. Many scoops in here. One here. Next, we're going to split this up between the four. So what I usually do is just handful, 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 right here, right there, right here, and right there. So here. And we put the spinach, same thing. Here. 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 Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do, put a little bit of this lemon juice, we've got five lemons in here, so I'm going to kind of try to even it up between the four here. we're good for now cut cut okay we're back we've got um got all of those ingredients that were in that container pushed into here there was a little bit too much so i just put it all in in there it's not going to be even every every single time it might come a little bit uh, might overflow okay so the next step i'm going to have my camera girl Alyssa, on the camera Hello. Here. Okay, so we've got this cutter here that's going to go on top you're gonna to want to screw it in. It might be a little hard because there's a lot of stuff in there. There we go. This goes in there. And this turns over, goes right inside of this neutral bullet mixer. You gotta plug that already. I'm gonna put these headphones on because it gets kind of loud. Yeah, very loud. And you're gonna count 16 Mississippi. And then you're gonna let it sit for a little bit, and then you're gonna do another 16 Mississippi. Then pick it up. This is what he thinks about it. That's it. Oh, I'm just gonna hold it for a second. Alright, let's give it a taste. Does it taste good? Really good. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh my god. We should try it. So good. First, our pet wants to say goodbye. Say bye, Carter. 
Okay, we're back. So, um, so now that we've got it all mixed, this is actually my second batch here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to what kind of containers. I, I usually like to use these old orange juice containers here, um, whatever it is, simply orange, and um, just because you know this stuff. If you don't before you drink it, you have to shake it up because it's you know everything sinks to the bottom obviously, and it's, you can have more liquid on the top than than what's on the bottom there. So what I do is I have this um, this cup here. I mean, you could obviously, you're not going to be probably as cheap as I am, but um, I just cut the bottom off of this, uh, this little bottle here. And I'm going to stick it on top. And uh, then I'm going to take this and, and pour it in there. And Calissa's going to go ahead and hold that camera for me. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, camera drill. Okay. Yummy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hello, Connor. Hello. <laughs> okay, you can um, you can pour it for us. Okay, so there it is, the finished product. Uh, usually, it's a much better color uh, than what it is now. Um, you, I was supposed to use black raspberries, but I substituted grapefruit for the black raspberries because the uh, the black raspberries we had left over from the other batch, um, which was about a week and a half ago, and um, they they ended up they were they were bad. So I substituted those. But but what the black raspberries are going to do? It's going to give it a more uh, a rich flavor. Actually, the color is going to be basically the, the same color as the pomegranate juice here. So. You know, depending on w what your tastes are, I, I happen to like it a l maybe a little thick here, and um, but y you might want to you might want to thin it out a little bit. So what I usually do is at the end I'll take uh, I'll take the pomegranate juice and I'll kind of you know put some in there just to so it gets to about I don't know a couple inches from the top, and this way you know you can still shake it and uh, it's not going to be as thick. Um, so e either way, it's gonna it's gonna taste it tastes great the way that it is without the black, uh, without the black raspberries. But it's just gonna look it's gonna look really good. It's gonna be about this color, uh, right here, which is um, a lot nicer to drink than uh, this color. That's just um, aesthetically more aesthetically pleasing th than this here. So if you're gonna if you're gonna sell this in the store, I mean, I would rather buy this color than than this color here. So. Um, yeah, and that's it for this episode of uh, This Old Roof, personal edition, home edition, smoothie edition. And uh, tune in next time. Uh, I'm not sure what the next show is going to be about, but I'll think about something. Have a good night. Happy Easter.